Hi, I'm Mrs. Emma Dimo and this is Penny. Welcome to our video. Today we're going to be working on subtraction with tens. Let's get started. All right, my friends, I'm going to read the essential question and you read it with me the second time. How can you subtract tens? Read it with me this time. How can you subtract tens? Now what should we do? You know. Penny, what should we do? Penny says we need to write an I can statement. She's right. Oh, you knew that. Fabulous. What do I start with? And what's the rule for that word I? You're right. It starts with a capital letter. I can, let me hear you, C-A-N, subtract. We can totally sound this word out. Ready? You hear it. S -a -b. What do you hear? S-U-B, tr, tr, what two letters? T-R. Act. What do you hear? Yes. A C T. I can subtract tens. How do we spell tens, the number? You're right. T E N S. And what goes at the end of my sentence, my friends? You're right. We need a period. All right, my friends, let me read it and then you read it with me the second time. I can subtract tens. You ready? Read it with me again. I can subtract tens. Very good. Now, what does that mean? Oh, you know what it means. Tell me. Yeah, it means we can subtract numbers and find different differences. And a difference is the name for the answer of a subtraction problem. Penny, is there anything I'm leaving out? Penny says I'm leaving something out. What am I leaving out, Penny? Penny says to tell you that when you subtract, the biggest number goes first. Let me hear you say it. Ready? When you subtract, the biggest number goes first. One more time. When you subtract, the biggest number goes first. Good. We got it. All right, my friends. So let's try one. Let's do a word problem. You up for a word problem? I'm going to tell you one, and then we'll write down what we need to know. Let's say Emily goes to the beach, and she has 30 shells. 20 of the shells are big. How many shells are not big? Listen again. Emily goes to the beach. She has 30 shells. 20 of the shells are big. How many shells are not big? All right, my friends, you heard it. You know how I like to break down word problems. What do we start with? That's right. We start with knowing Emily has got 30 shells at the beach. Out of that group of 30, 20 are big. And our end is, how many are not big? What's another word for not big? Yes, yeah, small. How many shells are small? I like it. So that's the piece we don't know. I'm going to use a question mark because that's my variable. A variable, remember, that's the math word that means the things we don't know. So what do we do with it? What do you think? So we've got 30 shells, that's all we've got. We've just got 30 shells, but out of those 30, 20 are big. So how many are small if 20 are big? Are we adding this 20 or subtracting this 20? You're right, this 30 is the biggest number we've got total. So that means we're subtracting this 20. So let's write a number sentence. Let me hear you tell me. You're right, 30 minus 20 equals our variable, our unknown. What should we do now? What's my favorite thing to do? Yes, you're right. You want me to ask Penny? Penny, what do they want you to tell me? Correct. Penny says, you said, I need to draw a quick pic. She's right. And you're right. All right, my friends. So 30, how many tens are in 30? Three tens. So we need three 10 rods. 10, 20, 30. Now, I'm not going to draw the 20 because I'm subtracting 20. How many tens are in 20? Two tens. So we've got a circle, two 10 rods, and cross them out. How many tens are we left with? Yes, you're right. We're left with one 10. And what's the value of one 10? Yeah, one 10 equals 10. So I read my number sentence as 30 minus 20 equals 10. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? You got this. 
Oh, you know you've got this. Let me erase this and we'll try a few more. All right, my friends, we've got our second problem. Let's see if we can solve it. 80 minus 30 equals what? What do we do? Oh, some of you know. Okay. I'm glad you know. If you're doing the quick pick in your head, that's fabulous. But for me right now, for this problem, pretend you don't know. Help me. What do I do first? Yes, I've got to draw a quick pick. How many tens are in 80? Eight. I need eight tens. Help me do it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And I'm subtracting, so I'm not going to add any more tens over here. I'm going to cross those out. How many tens are in 30? Yes, there are three tens in 30. So my friends, I've got to circle these three tens and I've got to cross them out. Can you help me count up what's left? You can, fabulous, let's do it, ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Do it again with me, ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 80 minus 30 equals, what was our difference? Yes, it's 50. So 80 minus 30 equals 50. Let's try another one. Can you give me two numbers? All right, I got 20, and what's the other number? 90, I've got 20 and 90. Hmm, can I do 20 minus 90? Penny, can I do 20 minus 90? Penny says no. Why not, Penny? Penny says when you subtract, the bigger number goes first. So I can't do 20 minus 90. I've got to do 90 minus 20. So let's try that. Let's try that. So we've got 90 minus 20. All right, my friends. Help me out. What should I do first? Penny, what do I need to do? Penny says, I need to draw a quick pick. Oh, you know. I know you know. So let's do it. 90. How many tens are in 90? You're right. I need nine ten rods. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And how many am I going to take away? Two tens. You're right. I've got to take away or subtract two tens. So I'm going to circle two ten rods and I'm going to cross them out. All right, my friends, let's count it up. Here we go. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Help me count it one more time. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So the difference of 90 minus 20 is 70. All right, my friends, I'm going to erase this and write a few up on the board and I'm going to have you try them without me. All right, my friends, I've given us 10 problems to try. Let's do this upper left one together and I'm going to have you work on these on your own. All right, my friends, I've got 80 minus 40, 80 minus 40. What should I do? Yeah, tell me. You're right. I'm going to draw a quick pick. So how many tens are in 80? You're right. I need eight tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. All right, my friends, how many tens am I going to take away? You're right, my friends. I have to take away four tens because 40 and four tens are the same thing. It's just a different way of saying the number. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four tens. I'm going to circle those four tens and I'm going to cross them out. All right, my friends, let's count up our 10 rods. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40. Do it with me. 10, 20, 30, 40. So help me read this number sentence. Ready? 80 minus 40 equals 40. All right, my friends, go ahead and pause this video. And when you get done doing the rest of these problems, hit play and we'll see if we agree. All right, my friends, how did you do? Did you figure them out? I hope we agree. I want you to pay special attention to this one. 30 minus 30. Oh, yeah, that's easy one? Good, I'm glad, my friends. What number do we use? We have nothing. Because 30 minus 30 means we've got nothing. What number do we use? You're right, we use zero. So make sure you got that one right, okay? All right, my friends, we've been doing some horizontal problems. We're going to switch and do a couple of vertical problems, and maybe we'll do one word problem at the end. I'll be right back. All right, my friends, I've written us six vertical problems, and I want us to solve them. Let's do this upper left one together, and I'll let you do the rest without me. 
90 minus 40. 90 minus 40. You are all getting so smart. People are already yelling the answer. Again, just for this first one, pretend. Pretend you don't know what to do. If you didn't know what to do, what should you do? Penny, what should we do? Penny says we need to draw a quick pick. What, Penny? What else? Penny says also, remember the biggest number goes first. She says it's very important. You've got that? It's locked in your brain? Fabulous. All right, my friends. 90 minus 40. 90 minus 40. How many tens are in 90? Correct. I need nine ten rods. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And how many do I have to cross out? Four, because there are four tens in 40. You're so smart. All right, my friends, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna circle and cross out these four 10 rods. And then let's count up what's left, my friends, ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Count it with me a second time, ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 90 minus 40 equals what? You're right, 90 minus 40 equals 50. All right, my friends, go ahead and pause this video do the next five problems on your own and then hit play and we'll see if we agree. All right, my friends, how did you do? Do we agree? I hope we agree. Let's check in. Thumbs up, I got this, Mrs. Amadimo. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thumbs to the side, I'm working on it. I remember this from earlier in the year. Yeah, I can do this. It's just need a little more practice. Thumbs down. I'm still having a little trouble, Mrs. Amodimo, but I know to draw that quick pick, so I'm going to work it up to here the next time. All right, my friends, most of us are here, or we got it. Remember, if you don't have it, that's okay. We're reviewing. Watch the video a second time. Practice a little bit. Ask mommy, daddy, grandma, grandpa, brothers, sisters, babysitters, whoever it is who loves you, if they can give you a couple of subtraction problems and check your work. The people who love us will help us if we ask, okay? Remember to be nice to them. They love you. All right, my friends, I promised I wanna do one word problem, all right? And I wanna do it like a morning math problem. So we're gonna read it. We're gonna figure out the start, the change, and the end. We're gonna write a number sentence, do a quick pick, and I wanna put it in a bar model. Oh, you can totally do all three of those things. Don't worry about it. All right, my friends, I have written this word problem. Let me read it the first time by myself and the second time you read it with me, all right? Here we go. William and Mia have 50 shells. They give 30 shells to Kevin. How many shells do they have now? Read it with me this time, my friends. William and Mia have 50 shells. They give 30 shells to Kevin. How many shells do they have now? All right, my friends, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna break this down. How, what do we start with? What's my start? You're right. So William and Mia have, how many shells do William and Mia have? Yeah, you're right, my friends, it's right here. William and Mia have 50 shells. So we are starting with 50. And then what happens? Because the thing that happens is our change. Then what happens? Let's look at the word problem. They give 30 shells to Kevin. Ooh, I, I heard it. Did you hear it? Ready? They give 30 shells to Kevin. What did they do? Yeah, you caught it, my friends. They give 30 shells to Kevin. So they're giving 30 shells to Kevin. So we know I've got 30. If he's giving them away, if Mia and William are giving Kevin shells, are Mia and William gonna have more or less? Yeah, they're gonna have less. If they're giving it away, they're gonna have less. What do we call it mathematically when we get less? Yeah, we gotta subtract. So we know we're subtracting that 30. What's our end? Look at the word problem? Okay. How many shells do they have now? Did you catch it? You did. How many, my friends, is our key words. They let us know that there's a variable. A variable, remember, in math, that's the thing we don't know. So our end is our variable, and I'm gonna use a question mark to stand for my variable. All right, my friends, what did I tell you we had to do? I want a number sentence, a quick pick, and a bar model. Can we do it? We can't, all right, help me out. So we start with 50, they give away 30, and then we end up with something at the end. 
Tell me my number sentence. Yeah, you totally got it. Our number sentence is 50 minus 30 equals something. Let's do the quick pick. So 50, how many 10 rods? Yeah, five 10 rods. 50, ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And how many am I gonna cross out? Yes, I'm gonna cross out three because 30 is three tens. And if we're subtracting, that means I gotta cross them out. So one, two, three, I'm gonna cross these three out. Cross, cross. And how many tens am I left with? You see it, how many tens am I left with? Two tens. So let's figure out what our difference is. Ready, you count it with me. 10, 20. Smart kids, do it with me again. 10, 20. So my friends, I'm gonna erase my question mark and I'm gonna write my 20 in here. Now, gave me a number sentence, gave me a quick pick, I want a bar model. So my friends, you remember how to do these. You make a great big rectangle and we cut that rectangle in half and then we just split this piece into a section. All right, my friends, you remember this because we've done it a lot. So I've got 50, 30, and 20. What's the biggest number? Yes, 50 is the biggest number. And 50 gets the, yeah, the biggest box. So 50 is gonna go right here in the biggest box. So 50 gets the biggest box. Which number goes in the smallest box? Which is our smallest number? Yes, 20 is our smallest number. So 20 gets the smallest box, which means 30 is left over. So it goes in the, yeah, it goes in the medium box. So my friends, you just solved the subtraction word problem. Not only did you solve it, you wrote a number sentence, you drew a quick pick, and you filled in the bar model. Nice job, good work. I hope you're feeling good about this. I'm feeling good about this. Let's go see what Penny's getting into. All right, Penny says it's too nice a day to stay inside, so we're gonna go for a walk. Please come back and we're gonna do some more math. Right, Penny? Right, Penny? Bye.